my sleep test, huh. which is why I'm looking so gorgeous right now. You can't see my head covering. I disguised it so cleverly. <laughs> so, how's everyone doing today? Great. I know I'm doing great. <laughs> I'm just, it's been a while since I talked to you guys and since I have all the free time in the world right now, I thought, why not catch up with you guys? Um, I am well. I'm I'm in the hospital right now, but it is a scheduled visit. Um, we're just doing tests. Um, so it's nothing, it's nothing serious. <laughs> yeah. Um, like I wasn't in an accident. I haven't injured myself. I'm not sick or anything. It's just, um, yeah, it's a sleep test. <laughs> What's on my head? Um, there's gauze wrapped all around my head and it's really unattractive so I've put um, a fuzzy hood over my head so that it's slightly less unattractive but um, <laughs> looking at it I'm like I look kind of I, I don't even know kind of weird still like it looks like I have a towel on my head and then this thing hmm yeah, it's kind of funny looking. A sleep test, um, the, it's for, I, I don't know how many of you guys follow me on Instagram, but I've mentioned my epilepsy before. <clears throat> um, <laughs> attractiveness is subjective. Yes, thank you. But yes, I have epilepsy. So what they do here is um, they attach wires all over my head and then wrap it in gauze and then I just hang out here for like a week and they try to catch seizure activity and so they can read my brain waves so that's what I'm doing here I have so that's why I have lots of time to talk to you guys really good stuff <laughs> what do you do for a week in bed uh yeah that's the thing <laughs> i talk to you guys i do a live stream um i've mostly been watching movies and stuff i've been drawing i did my taxes <laughs> um i've facetimed a lot of family and friends i do just kind of lie around all day it's super boring yeah, a week. Um, yeah, and like you can't get out of bed without calling the nurse to assist you. Like, it's just a precaution. I'm not like um, a super wobbly person who has like lots of seizures all the time and anything, but like it's just an, a controlled environment and they don't want you moving around without supervision. So if I like have to go to the bathroom or something, it's just, <laughs> thank you for the airplane co quote. Thank you, yes. I can always use some humor right now. It's not too bad. Um, the worst part is just having to sit in bed all day. Because, um, I mean, normally I am just a very lazy person and I like watching movies. Yep, there's an alarm on the bed. Um, there's a camera above my head. There's like these, you can see this one, there's like a block next to me, an alarm in the bed, and then obviously the stuff on my head that tells I do have audiobooks that I've been listening to. I don't have a letterbox account. Um, I, I have a drawing pad that like attaches to my computer. But then once I got here, I realized I just got a new laptop and it doesn't have USB connection. It has the, the new one. So <laughs> my drawing pad is useless. So I've been drawing in my little notebook instead. So letterbox helps you keep track of movies you have seen, just an FYI. 
All right. I mean, I kind of know what movies I've seen. <laughs> I haven't watched an actual movie yet since I've been here. I No. Your lunch is almost over, so feel better. Thank you. I will try. Yeah, so... Um, unfortunately, I haven't been editing or filming this whole time, but I did a lot of work before I came in here, so good stuff is coming your way. <laughs> it's all prepared. Have I seen Unbroken? Um, no, I haven't. Am I okay? Yes, I'm fine. <laughs> I'm just here for a sleep test. I'm still fetching in that outfit. Yes, my pajama top and my hood. Yes. I don't know if you'd think that if you actually saw the gauze. It is quite a sight to see. I look like I had brain surgery done by a mad scientist. <laughs> Um, let's see, I was gonna spotted the stream, wanted to wish you a happy Wednesday. Thank you. I've kind of lost track of the day since I've been in here. Like, yesterday I thought it was Monday and I was like, wait a second, it's Tuesday. Did they shave? Oh no, thank goodness. No, they just, um, put, they put gel under your hair and then stick the, the, probes on or whatever and then put a sticker on top of it and then they wrap you in gauze and so your hair is kind of sticking out in all sorts of directions uh nothing happened i'm here for a sleep test so it's just um testing i'm not injured or sick or anything it's a good movie all right i mean i have an extensive list so sending wishes best wishes from sweden thank you I'm just chilling here in California, so you are very far away. Have you delved into the view asking first? I haven't even heard of that. Is it like a movie, TV show, or I don't know, book series? Yeah, sleep tests are not the bomb. Um, my sleep tests are to analyze seizure activity since I am an epileptic, in case you did not know. I've mentioned it a few times before, but if you're not like a constant viewer or you don't follow me on Instagram or anything, you would not know this. So yes, we're here trying to figure all this out. They want um, at least three seizures to look at, um, if not more. So it's fun to be here hoping for seizures instead of the opposite. <laughs> I'll pass my sleep test in my dreams. That's right. I'll get an A++. I actually haven't been sleeping the greatest since I've been here, ironically. The bed's just not that comfortable. You've had sleep troubles over the years. Have you had a sleep test? They're not the funnest thing. <laughs> But, I mean, they're supposed to do you good. They're supposed to figure things out and help you. So. <clears throat> yeah, what is... How many of you guys have had... Like, what is the most uncomfortable hospital experience without getting... I mean, too graphic, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Battle insomnia? Yeah. I'm, I mean, I, I'm not super happy with my epilepsy, but at least it doesn't really affect my sleep that much normally. My dad has trouble sleeping, and watching that, I'm just like, I'm glad I can just like go to sleep, stay asleep. Sometimes um, I've had seizures that wake me up, um, but they don't, for the most part, they don't really affect my sleep. Um, what breed are my dogs? They're Wyme Runners. All three of them. Even on a first name basis with emergency room personnel. 
I'm sorry. A wasp stung you on the lip? Ugh. Wasps are nasty beasts, too. I mean, I think I've only been stung once. And it's because I stepped on it in the grass and I didn't realize what happened at first. Nothing broken? Yeah, I've never broken anything, got stitches. Knock on wood. <laughs> when you were 10 at a summer camp, you slipped on a mud pickup truck, clocked me. Six days, hospital vacancy. Dang. The most you had is stitches. Yep, I've never even had stitches. Although, um, one time when I was at work, I worked in a sandwich shop, I cut myself, um, and, like, it was really bad, I had to leave and go to the hospital, and I stupidly, when they asked, like, is this a work-related injury, I said yes, because it was, but the thing is, you just don't say that unless it's, like, a serious injury, like, you broke your arm, or you cut off a limb, or, I don't know, something, because I just, it was just a little cut. Because so, then suddenly they would not help me until I filled out all this paperwork and we had to like confirm it with my boss who was busy and like all this stuff. And it was like two hours later or something. I'm still bleeding out of my finger. And they're like, okay, you can go back. And so then they check on me. And it was just like this small hospital because I'm in a small town. And they're like, oh, we can't do stitches here. You're going to have to go to like the nearest city. And we're like, what? <laughs> so we drive out there and we get there and like, hey, we're here for stitches. And they said, oh, sorry, it's closed up too much. We can't give you stitches. <laughs> it's like, ah, it was so dumb. So I almost got stitches once. Um, but no, you can still see the scar though. You were in a hospital for seven months due to CIDP and had to learn to walk again. Dang! You don't have an immune system? I'm so sorry. And you got stung on my finger. It swelled too much that they had to cut off your wedding ring? Yow! Um, so the short version of what's going on. I'm not sick. I'm not injured. I'm in a sleep test. <laughs> They're analyzing brain activity because I have seizures. I know it looks bad. It's not. I'm just chilling in bed and I'm, I'm fine. <laughs> it's just ugly, so. Yeah, there's not, I mean, I guess there is something wrong with me since I have epilepsy, but it's nothing like crazy. You cut your finger with an ax by accident? Like seriously cut it or like nicked it? I've had two serious cuts on my fingers. The one I just told you about uh, with the knife at work. And then another one, I was in first grade. I brought a tuna can uh, to school. Like, it was a pop-open tuna can. And I wasn't careful, and it was pretty thick. And I just totally sliced my finger on it, and I had to uh, go home. And they didn't give me stitches then either, though, but it was pretty close. Oh, thank you for not thinking I'm ugly. <laughs> you got frostbite once. Ooh, ooh, yeah, frostbite is not a pretty thing. Hopefully you're okay. Um, you don't have seizures, but you have to do a sleep study. You might have sleep apnea. Yeah, I mean, sleep sleep studies are obviously for a multiple, multiple reasons. Um, so, I mean, they're called sleep studies. So they're usually for people who have sleep problems. Thank you for liking my reaction to Speed. It was a really fun movie to watch. <laughs> and I've heard mostly negative things about the sequel, so we're good. You fell off a mountain once? Wow. <laughs> um, you got seven stitches in the palm of your hand from a tuna lid? Wow. That's worse than my tuna lid experience. The first day of kindergarten, a kid hit you in the head with a shovel. Wow. Kids are brutal. <laughs> so for those joining, what happened? Nothing happened. I am in a sleep study and they're analyzing my brain activity for seizures. 
Um, yeah, I've thought about doing more Three Stooges reactions, but I've done all of the public domain ones, so that would mean I'd have to pick, like, two or three episodes to do at a time so that I could edit it into a uh, proper video for you guys, so it's just a little more effort on my part, but I'll probably do it. And Little Rascals, maybe. Um, I'm not quite as familiar with them, but... I have not seen the Batman. I'm really upset about it. Um, I really wanted it. So I came in here Monday morning and you know, it came out what Friday and I was working Friday. So I was like, okay, we're just going to have like the weekend to do this. And so I told my parents, cause I can't drive again because of epilepsy. I told my parents and I said, okay, like, did you guys want to go see that? Should we go see it? Like, and they're like, oh yeah, yeah, I wanna go see it. And we just like never did. So now I can't see it until next week cause I'm stuck here. <laughs> so I'm all upset. My brother's been texting me. He's like, oh, I saw it, it was so good. I love this and it was so good. You're gonna love this. And I'm like, stop it. <laughs> um, oh yeah, more Bugs Bunny cartoons. Um, yeah, I've thought about that too, but again, it's the same thing with the Three Stooges. I'd have to like pick out episodes to watch and whatever, so. Um, since I listen to audiobooks, recommend the Lee Child Jack Reacher book. All right. Do I drink anything with caffeine at night? I don't. I hardly drink caffeine at all. Like maybe I have these energy drinks that I drink once in a while, um, they're uh, V8 plus, and I drink them once in a while. And then I like don't even drink soda or anything hardly ever, so, no. <laughs> and I believe that would keep you up, yes, so thank you for the advice. Um, I'm glad you like my new Girl Reacts. They're getting increasingly popular, so. Glad I'm doing something right. Um, yes, the, the Batman has gotten a lot of positive reviews. A group of kids threw rocks at you in the first grade. You caught most of them, but what? oh my gosh, why were kids throwing rocks at you? You've seen all the Bugs Bunny cartoons. I've seen a good portion of them. Are you familiar with The Chosen? Yes, I am indeed. Um, yes, the Batman was really good. Yes, I know it's like three hours long. I did just watch either the next movie that's coming out on Friday was also three hours long. So <laughs> if you want to check it out early, it is on my Patreon. Kids are mean. Yes, I suppose so. Um, there's a Mel Brooks audiobook. Interesting. Like, is it about his career or The Swimmer? Is that a movie? Um Andy and Clyde and Shemp Howard short features. I have not. I haven't seen any of those things. Racist. They did not like indigenous people. Oh, yeah. People are just rude. To put it lightly. <laughs> and unfortunately... Um, adults kind of pass these things on to their kids and it's about his life and career he narrates the whole thing what happened to me nothing I'm in a sleep study and I'm fine <laughs> um, any famous movies that you haven't seen yet um, I haven't seen the matrix um, I have seen a good portion of popular films, but some of them I saw a long time ago and only once. 
Um, and then others I just, I haven't seen, so it's hard to, I've been making a list of things, so. <laughs> I'm trying, because I know you guys appreciate it when like I watch like your favorite movies and stuff, and obviously popular movies are popular for a reason, so we're getting them out there. Like, I mean, Jurassic Park, right? I hadn't seen that, and I put that up just a couple weeks ago. Are you planning on seeing Sonic 2? Oh, you're planning on seeing Sonic 2. Well, good. I thought it looked pretty good. I saw the first one, and I didn't... I'm not super familiar with Sonic. I mean, I kind of played some games and stuff in the 90s, but... Um, the Obi-Wan Kenobi trailer just dropped for real? Oh, I've been waiting for that forever. I kind of thought it would be soon because I just saw um, the... Um, the entertainment pictures from the magazine, and I was like, oh, it's gotta be any time now. Any time now. So, hold on, let me see. Um, which is the favorite movie that I reacted to? I don't know. Uh, I liked a lot of them. I did, recently I did really like Speed. That one was a lot of fun. Um, let me see, what... What were other movies that I have reacted to? Um, oh my gosh, the trailer is out. Dang. All right, well, I'll watch that in a minute. Let's see. So what are some movies I've watched? <laughs> um, oh, Die Hard was pretty fun too. <laughs> I think the movies that like stress me out are the ones I have the most fun with. What's Up Doc was pretty fun. Um, I did like Poltergeist. I really liked watching Trolls, but no one seemed to enjoy that reaction, so that's okay. I liked it. Right, right, popularity is fickle. I really liked Clue. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, I liked a bunch of them. <laughs> I mean, yes, yeah, speed is very scientifically impossible, but that's kind of what makes it fun. Like, you just kind of have to suspend your disbelief. You liked my Count of Monte Cristo reaction? Yeah, I really liked that movie too. That one was good. I love a good revenge story. Clue was really funny. People said it wasn't funny. Critics never know what they're talking about. Uh, I'm glad you liked my Jurassic Park one. And I didn't even plan that it was coming out around the same time that like Jurassic World is like works so the devil's advocate a couple of people were talking about that one i don't really know what it is but i mean it's in the air now i never reacted to support your local sheriff i've heard of it <laughs> al pacino plays satan all right, well, I'm sold then. <laughs> Any Buster Keaton movies? I have some on my list. You found me by my Monte Cristo reaction? Um, yeah, Schindler's List isn't even up yet. Are you on my Patreon? Did you see Point Break? Um, I have not seen it. Heard of it. Court Jester was a really funny movie. 
I didn't love my reaction to it, but I really liked the movie. Do I have a favorite Jim Carrey movie? Oh boy, my family loved Jim Carrey movies, and I know that is a, you either lean one side or lean the other. But my favorite Jim Carrey movie, I don't know, maybe either Liar Liar or The Mask. Oh, so you're on Patreon, cool. Robert Redford and Barbara Streisand, the way you were. Political, okay. War Games. I've heard of that one. That's with Matthew Broderick, right? I haven't seen it. Was it, you said it was good? All right. Oh, The Truman Show, okay. Um, I think I saw that one a long time ago. I don't really remember it. Um, so it's on my list to watch eventually. Cause I mean, I know what it's about, but, and I've seen it before, but I just, it, everything about it escapes my memory. I just, so there'll probably be an appearance of that movie in the future. Nosferatu. Um, I considered watching that one last Halloween. Um, but you guys voted for other things. I have seen Dumb and Dumber. I do really like that one too. Yep, Liar Liar, classic. Yeah, I haven't even watched these movies for a long time, like any of these Jim Carrey movies. Probably the most recent one I watched was The Mask and that was probably when I was right out of college. So I don't know, like three years ago or so. Um, a Three Stooges musical comedy? <laughs> Interesting. Was well, it good? Oh, you haven't seen it, sorry. Labyrinth. Um, I've never seen Never Ending Story. I've seen Labyrinth maybe once. I remember in sixth grade we watched it for some reason. I don't remember why. I just remember being in my literature class. And she put it on and must have been for literature reasons. <laughs> and I remember thinking it was like the weirdest thing ever. But yeah, I haven't seen it since. I, again, considered watching it for Halloween this year. But I did not. My sixth grade sounds wild. It kind of was. Um, Yeah. The reactions you always check for 12 Angry Men. Well, that one's on my list. Fletch 2. It's not on my list, so you don't need to worry. Unless enough people are like, you have to watch it. But no one really has, so. Bruce Almighty, uh, yes. It's been a while since I watched that one, too. Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. Hmm. I, I think I did see that one. It's with Kate Winslet, right? Hi, you. Hi. Do you remember me coming in yesterday? Yes. Okay. You were so tired. Yeah, right. I don't want to bother you. I just want you to sleep. Yeah, it's okay. So Dr. Ambos told me that, you know, you had three seizures mm -hmm. the day before, but you probably haven't felt anything yet, yeah? The last 24 hours? Did you feel anything? No. Seizure-related? Probably not, huh? Yeah, hold on. Sorry, guys. I gotta go.